Mirror, mirror on the wall. How about evil queen? Hmm? Hmm? So what? I'm supposed to just call you Mike? Come on. Well, I'm kind of going for excrutable, right? It's my new A squared vibe. Okay. I am David Jones. I'm 28, which is pushing it. But beards and t-shirts are a good look on me. I grew up in Detroit, but I moved down when my parents died and bummed around a bit. Grew up fast, had fun, and ended up in L.A. where I sold t-shirts on a boardwalk in Venice. And without meaning to, I became a producer at a video company making schlocky movies. But I made a decent earning. And last year, a good friend of mine uh, died from an accident. And I decided that I was going to start taking things a little more seriously. I decided that I wanted to help make the world a better place. So I moved back here to Ann Arbor to reconnect with a younger, more pure version of myself and also get away from all the bad influences who had my number in California. I think to not be directly engaged in fighting for environmental causes today is a kind of moral cowardice. I and mean, it's easy to forget that the rest of the world exists when you're in L.A., but out here, you, you can reach out and you can touch it. I've only ever been in love once. Uh, it was with a girl I met when I was 18, but I was too young and naive to handle it properly. And I guess I still carry a torch for her, which makes me an incurable romantic or underdeveloped emotionally. I'm a loyal friend. I like girls with nice smiles. Nice smile. Psych profile says so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like horoscopes in that world. <laughs> I I'm going to decorate an apartment. Hey, babe. Oh, okay, get in here. Let me give that big hug. Ah! Hi. No. No, I'm at my baddie apartment, remember? 
What, this? This here? This itchy, scritchy, scratchy? Yeah, I'm scratchy, 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 itchy, itchy, tickle, tickle, tickle. How you doing? What? How was your day? Tell me. Why? Mm -hmm. You did? Okay. You did? Oh, where are we going? Oh. Oh. Okay. I can't wait. One sec, all right? All right. Here I come. No, 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 you can't, you can't die from that. You, it just means that you're growing up. You're getting bigger and stronger. And when the tooth falls out, okay? No, 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 listen, listen, listen. When that tooth falls out, the tooth fairy's gonna come and she's gonna give you money for it. Yeah, you never heard of the tooth fairy? The fairy that comes at night while you're asleep. And she takes your old tooth from under your pillow and she swaps it for money. Well, okay, look, if you don't, she'll only come if you want her to come. And if you do, then here's what you gotta do, all right? You gotta put your old tooth under your pillow and then write her the sweetest note, okay? Yes, exactly. It's like Santa, but for teeth. Hey, where's your mom? Will you go get her for me? Take me. Take me anywhere. Hey, I miss you. No, I miss you. Hey, what do you think of the new apartment? <laughs> oh, but I've, I've upgraded to a futon. <laughs> yeah. Except they neglected to mention all of the furniture assembly at Quantico, left that part out. By the way, if you needed, you know, say, 17 Allen wrenches, I've got them. So you just let me know. Yes. Yes. How you doing? Tell me about your day. Yeah. Yeah, come with that. Yeah. Love you.
plane. Do all the guys have this? <laughs> You're so prickly! <laughs> Today was good and bad. Today at camp, I found a crazy bug. Emily said it was gross, but I picked it up. We found treasure and put it in my good pocket. Then when I came home, I hid it under my bed. My tooth hurt, though. I had to sit with the camp nose all day. It looked so bad it was bleeding. Since it was vacation, we had a movie night. We watched Sleeping Beauty and built a bed on the sofa. Come inside. Sword tooth. I don't want it to fall out. The tooth fit? What did she do with the teeth? How would she even get into my room? It's like Santa, but for teeth. Here's in the bathroom. I'll take you. Mama, it's Daddy! Here he is. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Mm, you miss the beach. Oh my god. Looks just like your place on Kinsey Street. You had that mattress on the floor. I was sure you were a serial killer. <gasps> oh, wow, well, the glamorous life of a super spy. Got Alba ready for camp. Made her a spectacular lunch. No PB and J, otherwise she has to sit at the peanut table. At work, I pulled a messy code blue back from the brink and administered a sub-Q insulin that my patient didn't even feel. Picked Alba up, made her dinner, soup, because her tooth hurts. And then we had to watch a Disney princess movie because Mama sent us the damn box set. <laughs> Hey, can I call you back after your album goes down? It's late. I gotta get her in the bath. All right. Love you.
Prince Charming? Yeah, I told you I don't need a code name. Aren't you supposed to be likable? All right, let's just have you run through your legends so I can tick this box and we can proceed. Blondes or brunettes? Your leg man, tit man, ass man? Good. Well, you sound just like the kind of reform character with a heart of gold to wake up your Snow White. They're never wrong. Less cynical. You're here to save the planet. All right, review the files from cyber. Natives arrest us. They've been accessing pipeline maps. You've got eight months till the next convergence. Just follow the protocol and stick to the plan. You're going to be the knife that stabs Green Storm in the heart. today and about some music did you know that iggy pops named after his first band the iguanas his real name's james Okay, hello, Isabella. <laughs> hey, honey. Oh, look. Oh, that see that that tooth is going to fall out any day now. How are you doing? That's what we thought. Oh, really? Well, I mean, it was just a nightmare. That's all. Nothing to be scared about. Right? Are you? Are you brave? Yeah, I'm right here.
how you feeling? Mm. Mm -mm. You know it makes me cringe when you try and talk about music. Besides, you're off the clock now anyway. So you just watch. My name is Isabella. Hey, hey, buddy. Yeah, I'm just hanging out, waiting for you. You're, uh, running late, huh? Okay, you don't say. Traffic. Yeah, right. No, sure, I'm just... I'm getting hungry, man. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Just saw a dwarf head into the cottage, but... No sign of Snow White yet. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, no, here she comes. Here she comes, here she comes. Yeah, Snow White is headed to the cottage. Target to pair bonder naturally outgoing in most social situations, regarded in more intimate settings, has a high aversion to conflict in public spaces. Will be attracted to an older man with life experience who has humility self-awareness is intellectually curious but not highly educated and will respond to others with similar backgrounds especially those who take leadership positions and take time to listen and mirror her opinions she's 19 young naive in her yearbook she says she wants to be a singer she likes to think she's special but well, she's just a kid from detroit yeah snow white is in the cottage
Come on, you do this kind of stuff all day in the ER. You just twist and pull. Come on. Good job, nurse. Ooh. <laughs> or, or we could pick up where we left off the other night. I, if I remember correctly, Isabella wanted to do some things to Alex. Okay. You sure? You could hypnotize me. promised you'd only think of bearded men until I shaved this off. You're, <laughs> you are such a sucker for the rock stars. I don't get it. to come out. <laughs> you can go now. <laughs> Maybe have a big glass of wine. Probably just go to sleep. Mouth. And then about six hours, I'm going to have to wake up and go because ever since you've been gone, she started having that bathroom ghost nightmare again. <sighs> when I'm in the mood, I'll let you know. Or I'll just put on some Justin Timberlake and have a nice visit with my Hitachi. <sighs> Father John Misty then. <laughs> yeah, well, I fell for you because you looked good in a suit. My vagina is superficial. Good night. What?
what kind of guy? It's complicated. I just like to talk. And you don't have to look at the camera. You can look at me. <laughs> I liked your hair. I liked your eyes. No, I liked your hair, and I liked your eyes. Why Snow White? For work? I just moved and I It's a secret. You don't know me. Cam Talk takes care of the transaction. Everything's anonymous. Right? We can be honest with each other here. It's totally different than in real life. And I have a boss. Well, I'd like to talk. If I want to fool around, I'll let you know. <laughs> sure. So, what made you pick me? You like your girls a little gothic. Snow White evokes something a little dark. It is shorthand for asphyxiation or sleep fantasy. You know, I have a kinky side. Don't you? What do you do, Prince Charming? 
short for work. You have uh, serious eyes, but I see something a little wild inside. Tell me. Even in real life. They save their lives for the people that matter. Their wives, their bosses. You are married. <laughs> you know, there are other things we can talk about that you wouldn't say to your wife. Your session is almost over and we haven't even fooled around yet. You like to fool around? Okay, you are the boss. Will you come back some other time? I like you. Goodbye, my prince. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Yes, I called into the record store on Sunday and we spoke for a bit. I told her I was new to the area, I wanted the Red Iggy Pop record, and she said they'd have to order it, but then she asked me why I wanted the remix when the original's the best. She's very pretty. Something like that. You know, because I'm a collector and I have a thing for colored vinyl. But honestly, I do prefer Pop's remix of Gimme Danger over the original, because in the reissue, the loudness is fixed. And that sounds more natural, and the vocals are more authentic. And today, I attended a meeting at the Jasmine Center, and uh, she remembered me from the record store. Yeah, and she said, hi, we spoke in the back over some stale vegan cookies. You know, you're right. This is a good look on me. <laughs> oh, no. Colorful detail. Ava Martin, things are fully operational. She has a nice smile. Why would you want that record if the original is the best? Sound like an expert. Why'd you tell me the vegan cookies were stale? Okay, well, you can leave the colorful details out of your report. Hey, Ava. Hey, so look, uh, well, here, take a look. This is 
some of my vinyl because I, well I, I think I have a problem but anyway yeah th the, uh, this is the one I was talking about yeah it's their bootleg copy of their Warsaw songs before they changed their name well you know I mean it's got a stain on it but I got it at a good price yeah exactly exactly <laughs> oh, you think I'm stalking you, don't you? Why? Because, what, we met twice in the same week in the same city? I mean, come on, stranger things have happened, Ava. I mean, I might go out for food. We might bump into each other then. I mean, I like Chinese food. Well, see, now there's an even better chance that we're going to bump into each other. Right? You know what? Now that I think about it, I think you might be stalking me. Yeah, and look, here I am giving you a view into my apartment. Yeah? What? Uh, that's because I just moved in. Yeah, and now I feel less self-conscious, thank you. Yeah. What are you doing? Why, because you gotta count the register? Okay, well take me with you. No, I'm, I'm being serious. Come on, take me with you, point me at the ghost, I'll scare them off. It's all good. You have a beautiful voice. No, I'm serious. Oh, well then you gotta call me next time you're in the, uh, you're in the dark. What? Okay, I'll take maybe. Maybe it's good. <laughs> oh, wow. Must be worth something. And that doesn't change the way it sounds. Okay. I believe that you are a music nerd <laughs> who has great taste, but I still don't entirely trust you. Chinese is my favorite food. And your apartment is great. It's very clean.
clean and empty. <laughs> Wait, this is weird. Where are your hands? Please keep your hands in view at all times. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I'm just about to lock up. I hate this bit. No, I don't mind that. I just... I don't like the dark. It's creepy when it's just me. Ha. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Got my keys. One, two, three, and when I turn this last one off, it goes completely dark. sing when I'm in the dark or in the bath. <laughs> All right. Maybe. Chinese food every single day this week, and no luck. Oh, yeah, I thought you would have come by the store to check up on your order. Oh, really? Yeah, it's going to take a little while. I had to order it from England just to get the perfect copy. Oh, wow, extra authentic, ridiculous coffee. Yeah. Did you know Pop, you recorded that in London? Mm-hmm, and then your namesake makes it here in L.A., but that's been across the pond twice now. You are an expert. <laughs> you want some milk? No, thanks. Actually, I looked it up when I ordered it for you. Ah. Uh, Mm, no, I just, well, why didn't you just order it off the internet? It's more fashion. You gotta support your local record store. They turn into Starbucks. Wait, who do you think supplies the coffee here? Oh, community gesture. If I were to, like, just dump, would that mean I sold out? You like to dump your cookies? Um, would you like to get a drink somewhere? Like right now? No, I no. mean like sometime. Like a drink drink or like we're going to call Prosper and Investors for it? <laughs> I mean, sure, we could call some investors, but I was thinking more of a drink drink. There's this old man bar in the tavern. They have this jukebox built with Johnny Mitchell albums. Yeah, so? Cool. Yeah, I'll call you. I have your number. Okay. Right. I got to catch Sean. 
Go to. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Me, too. I do. Show me. <laughs> I can see that. Oh, I have, uh, I have books, too, because guess what I did? I unpacked. Check out the unpacking job. Look at that. Look at all the unpacking that happened. See that? Seriously? Okay. Let's do it. Yeah. So, top book on the pile and open to a random pitch. All right. Let's see. All right. Here we go. They brought us parrots and cotton thread and bartered them for glass beads and little bells. They do not bear weapons, nor do they know them, for I showed them swords, and they took them by the edge and cut themselves through ignorance. They have no metal at all. Their spears are wooden with a fish's tooth at the end, and their bodies are well made with handsome faces. They are the color of the people of the Canaries, neither black nor white. They would be good servants. Uh, with 50 men, you could keep them all subjugated and make them do whatever you like. True history of America. Yeah, well, you know, <clears throat> I'm still making my way through that one, so sorry. All right. Oh, wait a minute. You said take the top book off the pile. What's wrong with that one? Why not? You write and you sing. I mean, that's, that's impressive. Wait, I thought you said you didn't like to sing in front of people. Why wouldn't you tell me that you're in a rock band? I mean, that's kind of cool. Okay. You know, I've played this game before, but the rules were like, whatever passage you read meant how good you were in bed or something. Oh, oh, I see. Mm. Yeah, I'm um, also, you know, I don't know, rebooting, you know, and I'm not in any hurry to do or say whatever, you know. I'm, it's unfortunate that I ran into you. 
you know, the first week I got here because I'm still fine on my feet. I mean, not, I'm, I'm glad that I did. I just wanted, um, I think that I left a little abruptly tonight and I didn't want you to feel like you screwed up or anything. I mean, I, I had a nice time. Good. I've seen your apartment. You wanna see mine? Okay. It has more stuff than yours, so. Uh, we've got posters, all the jazz. Um, I have a cactus, just just the one plant. Um, I've kept it alive for like a year now, and it's longer than like any relationship that I've ever had in my entire life, but the sex is not great. <laughs> uh, books, I have a lot of books. Um, oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you need shelves. Oh, here is a thing that we can do. Okay, grab the top book off of your pile and turn to a random page, and I'll do it too. And what you read tells you what kind of a person you are. Yeah, yeah, it's a silly game, but... Well, this is awkward, so I'm breaking the ice. Just do it, and then I'll stop being awkward. Mm-hmm. Columbus was a motherfucker. <clears throat> oh, I'm not reading that. Well, it's not a proper book. It's where I write my lyrics. For my eyes only. Yeah, I used to sing in a band. I don't. Anyway, I got out of the habit. All right, moving on. <clears throat> you get memories of a golden age. My next break was starring alongside Jack Vaisna in the popular Hercules serial. I played a mermaid who falls in love with the hero against her father's wishes. Swimming together on screen, we were the perfect couple, but the reality was a Hollywood nightmare. The water in the studio tanks was freezing and gave us all cramps. Then there was uh, Jack. Jack didn't act the part of Hercules. He believed he was Hercules. All the women on earth, mere mortals, created by the gods for his pleasure. After the show, he summoned me to his dressing room. Inside, he was stood, naked, posed like a classical sculpture. A shockingly well-endowed one. I ran, uh, and Hercules and his, <laughs> and his club chased me down the corridor like something out of a horror movie. Okay, that, that's a, an old library book. It falls at that part so mm -hmm. I like reading about how people got famous y yeah I mean that's the idea but I didn't want to embarrass you mm. just being ladylike
And listen, I don't want you to think that my Cinderella act, I just, I'm in a place where I'm not really rushing anything like that right now. Ugh. It's awkward. Yeah. Good night. Hey, honey. Is that a crime? Well, Jason Bourne never had to file reports. And believe me, if this job ever gets exciting, then something's gone terribly wrong. Psychologists are attractive and charming. How you say it. <laughs> Don't make fun. Stop it. Don't stop. You're turning me on. No way, not unless you give me something in return. Yeah, because those college town tramps, they are shameless, let me tell you. <laughs> you talk a good game online. Uh, I gotta go. <clears throat> what about her? Don't be angry. You're cheerful. Hmm, I just think you should pretend it's no fun playing Jason Bourne. Yep. They said that even the most basic undercover work was a big adrenaline rush, and that loving and supportive partners like me should be aware of that and help you adjust. Okay, thanks for asking. The new anesthesiologist asked me out to dinner. And we both have jobs where we can't wear our wedding rings to work. Professional hazard. I will tell you, he's very attractive and very charming.
you again. Well, you're scared of the dark, right? See, I, I told you, I warned you about that double espresso. Understood. swims above my head, a ghost sits upon my chest, I'm drowning deep in my bed. Whoa, that was strong stuff. Are you used to, used to sing that in your band? Oh, uh, yeah? What was your name? Oh. Well. That's adorable. Uh, I was at 16. I was getting pulled over for a DUI, but then running away from the cop and totaling my parents' truck, it was pretty bad. My father, who was a cop in his own right, uh, he did everything he could to try to get me out of jail, but... He never spoke about it, actually. And then I left about a week after that. And everybody had all these expectations of me going into the force because everyone in my family's a cop. But it was actually the uh, court-appointed therapist. She said that that DUI was my way of ruling out a career in law enforcement, so. You know, you don't think I look like a cop. Okay, so what is it you think I do? Mm, maybe, kinda. You think I'm like a gigolo or something? No. No, I, I was a movie producer. I had a nice boat. I did. No, 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 no. no these were all like straight-to-DVD knockoffs. You know, we, we get people to invest in them so they can meet the actresses, you know, do a walk-on, write it off on the taxes at the end of the year. We sold, essentially, a dream. World. Yeah, there's only so much time you can spend in that world before you go crazy. Yeah. And, uh, my... Uh... A friend of mine died last year. Um, eh, it, was, it was an overdose. Um, it was an accident. It was stupid. So um, I, I just needed some perspective. And I, I, I don't want to become a cop. But my father... He, he, he stood for something. You know? Did that 
sound scuzzy? No? I'd like to be a real person. What about you? Your family? Was your mom like a singer or something? No? Oh, okay. I was thinking, you know, you, but older. Kind of a grungy, hippie look. <laughs> I feel like I can trust you. Can I? Me again. I'm not super intense and weird. I just, I really enjoyed talking to you and I can't sleep. I well, we have a nightlife, but I don't know, I'm still kind of jazzed up. <laughs> I didn't want to get too drunk. Um, what I said earlier, it's it's slightly more than that. I just I just got out of a bad relationship and I'm still dealing with it. I just need a little time. This is one of my songs. I hate reading my stuff out loud. All right, all right. Don't read it out. Oh, no, no, we were a covers band. Well, my stage name was Jane Dean. And we were Jane Dean and the Rebels. <laughs> Shut up, I was 16. What were you doing when you were 16? Mm -hmm. You tried to get away from a car? Yeah, I don't think you're quite cop material. You're not cop material. Think about that. Um, it's got to be something. It's got to be something scuzzy. Otherwise, you would have told me, right? <laughs> okay. Um, you're not a drug dealer. You haven't offered me drugs yet. So it's not that. I hope it's not something I disapprove of. Nothing in advertising. Okay. You're easy to talk to. Maybe you, like, sleep with rich old ladies in California for money. Yeah, Jigolo. Yeah, that's the word. <laughs> Uh, 
any that I've ever seen. I'm so sorry. No. I mean, it's interesting. Everyone I know was born here. We grew up dressing up as astronauts and rock stars, but we knew eventually we'd end up working at the American Axle. I dream of being a singer, but I work in a record store and you came back here from LA. Will you seem real? N no, 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 my mom works at American Axle. <clears throat> My mom's the kind of hippie who shacks up with a retired accountant and moves to Florida. It's very counterculture. I better get some sleep. No, I'm happy to just stop. Sorry. No, you can call me David. So what did you do before? Before camming, what did you do to make money? <laughs> mm hmm Yeah, very funny. Very, very funny. I'm being serious. Okay. I'll tip you if you tell me. 